friends, Ren and Kimeno here. So today's video, we're going to talk about a year later. Um, I think it was um, March the 24th of 2020 here specifically in Michigan. We had a lockdown where we were at a stay at home order to stay at home, you know, go out very sparingly to get groceries or to the pharmacy. And that was it. Every other service was just locked down for, I think, about two and a half months here in the UP, the rest of Michigan um, as well. And then I know that like I was chatting quite a bit at the time with uh, couponing Stacy and she's she was at the time over in Illinois and they had started this the week previous. So we were always talking every day, like, how are you holding up that sort of thing? Because it was like kind of being in this weird home arrest. I took a bunch of photos. Um, the few times I did go out, I didn't coupon for about two months, which was bizarre for me. Um, and I really missed the staff at the stores the most, which is bizarre, but I really did. And um, I wanted to share some of these photos and some of my thoughts. I know that a lot of you helped out family and friends. And it's kind of like uh, this hobby of extreme couponing just became like almost essential to help some people out. And I just wanted to share some of these photos. I know that if you live in an area like um, Florida that, you know, you have to deal with those hurricanes, you've probably have seen these sort of photos before. But for somebody like me, I mean, it was absolutely like shocking to see that. So I remember the week of St. Patrick's Day, um, there was a lot of stock of toilet paper and it was supposed to be like toilet paper week where the angel soft and a couple other toilet papers were going to be like a dollar 99, really, really cheap. And it would be like a week to really stock up. I had made videos talking about toilet paper week, blah, 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 blah. I remember this one lady uh, saying that she jumped ahead and did toilet paper week the week previous and she paid an extra buck. You know, she just spaced out at the store and did this and she paid an extra dollar. And I was like, you could have saved an extra buck. You should have waited. Well, she was freaking laughing the next week when everything was cleared. But I remember seeing this one day in the store where there was a huge amount of toilet paper and they were getting ready for toilet paper week. Like it was going to be spectacular. I mean, we all love a good toilet paper deal. But then the next day, everything was gone. Like everything. And it's like stuff I've never seen before. And I felt almost like uncomfortable to be in the store. And I felt kind of like I shouldn't be couponing in the store because I had a pretty sizable stockpile at my house. So why would I need all this stuff, right? Um, I'd rather people who were just um, regular shoppers to get the stuff than I. And even like on Walgreens.com, they were offering free shipping uh, during the height of the lockdown. And I didn't even do any deals. I think I did like one. But other than that, I didn't do any deals because I wanted other shoppers to have it. But this sort of stuff just broke my heart to see absolutely nothing in the store. Hopping over to Meyer, uh, I went there to get some supplies and it started looking like this. And even at the height of it, that's still a good amount of stuff. It's a couple bottles of 409 and the pine salt. But then it quickly became so bare where there was absolutely nothing. And like there was a break in the supply chain where everybody wanted these cleaners and there was just like nothing. And this was very common. And they had huge sign up signage there saying you can only get two extraordinary high demand but the shelves were bare and um, it was pretty hard to catch a break to find stuff especially if you shopped after work or later in the day um, if you went first thing in the morning there was stuff but I mean a lot of us couldn't find anything and that's when your stockpile really is critical to acquire or to have this stuff in your house and this was at Rite Aid I remember um, one of the cashiers telling me that in a matter of three hours Every last toilet paper was sold for full price. And that's not what couponers do. We often got a lot of heat over that, that we were the people doing it, but we weren't because um, we had a lot of toilet paper at home. And yeah, just uh, the signage at uh, Walgreens too, uh, limiting people to four per customer. And they were doing that for a whole lot of stuff, even detergent guys. Um, but that, that one item, the detergent got lifted, but a lot of these items we could only get like limited amount. And of course, I always respected those um, signs. And then this was the cleaner. And then people went and got all the toilet cleaner uh, the week later, like everything was gone. But I was really not in the store much. This was just at the beginning where you would go into the store and like everything was gone. People were just buying everything. Um, just one big swoop and you'd see like carts just bottom to the top. I remember in a Rite Aid, a woman paying like almost $700 and she had like two carts full of stuff. And I almost fell over. I'm like, who spends $700 on this at, uh, at Rite Aid? But she did. Uh, this is over at Walmart now. 
Um, my husband and I, before the lockdown started, like officially, we went later in the evening to go shopping and we walked through the um, cold aisle and everything was like cleared. And my husband was like, what is this? We've never seen anything like this. Again, we don't live um, where there's tornadoes and storms um, up here in Michigan. The worst thing that we get is snow, but you know, people don't really stock up for snowstorms. But all the cold medication was completely gone. And I've never seen anything like this. Like people were really scared. So they were just buying everything and anything um, to prevent, you know, a really bad uh, cold or th the terrible virus. So, I mean, it was just shocking. And we really tried to get in and out of the store quickly too. Um, we were trying not to, to be there lingering forever. Um, and I think subsequently that was the last time we, we actually went into a Walmart without a mask because at the beginning you didn't have to wear a mask and that was later implemented. All of the produce uh, was also gone, even like the expensive organic stuff, like everything was cleared by the time we got to the store. So we just like, I think we got like one can of tuna and a bag of rice and just ran for the door. It was one of those sort of situations, but it was almost impossible to find stuff. I think we needed to buy a lot of cat food. That's why we were in there. But um, yeah, it was just really something. And uh, since we, you know, we can place orders with the Walmart app, um, with that Walmart grocery where you just drive up and it's so much easier. But even like this, like the um, frozen food section, like all the pizzas were gone. I, they had a couple chicken pot pies. So that, that's not the worst. You could still make something happen with that. But everything else was cleared and I, I've never seen anything quite like this. So it's just really surprising. That's for sure. And I think one thing people were really stocking up hard on was toilet paper. And this is like at a local Walmart. There's still a lot of paper towel on the other aisle. So you could just make do with that. But that was one item that was getting cleared really quickly. And I think because people could control toilet paper, it doesn't expire. You'd have a good amount of it in your home. It was some sort of security that you would be covered if you were home for like, you know, six months. <laughs> so since all this insanity happened uh, one items that was really hard to find were um, like Clorox or Lysol wipes or even the generic ones I found that in the last month 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 and a half um, maybe two months Dollar General all these stores they have an, a huge abundance of it and I think people are not just uh, disinfecting everything and anything and that's one item that you know if you could stock up say 10 because these do dry out, like they have an expiry date. They're not forever. It's not like a, a roll of toilet paper, um, but it's still a very good product to have um, in your pantry. Uh, even if you don't use it, it's a great product to have. I swear by these because I have cats, but my husband hates using them. And then when the pandemic hit, he's like, these are the most handy things ever. And then obviously some sort of multi-service cleaner that cleans germs tons of this at the Dollar General and I've checked many stores like maybe that's just the place and what I love about the Dollar General is it's a smaller store it's not like a superstore like Walmart or Meyer. if it's busy or thick at like one of those superstores and I have to go there um I will just leave I will buy it somewhere else like the Dollar General and uh what I also uh the Walmart pickup for groceries where you just drive and they throw it in your trunk also fantastic Paper products also exceptionally plentiful at rural Dollar Generals. Uh, paper towel, toilet paper, you have it. And then you pair that with the 5 off of 25 on Saturday. Um, it's just fantastic to, um, you know, to really stock up. So what did I learn from last year to this year? Um, I think that at the height of the pandemic, a lot of us had very large stockpiles. And there's always... A comment that I received a lot at the height of the pandemic it was one of two people saying you greedy pig for having a massive stockpile and the other one saying you are ahead of your time with your stockpile like you saw this obviously coming and I did not see this ever coming um and I think that for the most part just having these items in your house is a bit of security for you your household um friends family to help them out um, and the reason why a lot of us coupon is that when items are free or exceptionally cheap, you stock up on it for the next week when it's not on sale, you'll have it in your household. So, 
But yeah, that's one uh, lesson that's key and a lot of us learned and a lot of us helped a lot of people out. Two items that I did stock up on since the height of the pandemic and the, you know, the, the stay at home order was kind of lifted here in Michigan was um, I think Home Depot had these Belladonna single roll toilet papers that have a paper around it. And um, they were really cheap, like a quarter or something like that. And I used either a fetch or and I bought a gift card and I was buying a case of 96 for like 25 bucks. Unheard of, crazy, exceptional toilet paper deal. I bought two cases like this and I gave a lot away to people like family and friends, whatever, because you need toilet paper, right? And if anything happened where toilet paper was scarce, you would at least have this. And um, I kept another one. Uh, I did see something on, I think, Craigslist where somebody had posted that uh, anybody who could not find toilet paper, they would drive to their home and just throw one in a mailbox. I thought that was such a classy thing and it just spoke to me. So I actually um, helped out neighbors in my neighborhood where I would just put toilet paper in their mailboxes and everybody was so happy with that. Uh, but I have a, a case of this still. And if this would ever happen in the future, because toilet paper does not go bad, um, I have it to help out others. Um, at the very least, you know, one roll of toilet paper that's completely sealed that you could just hand over to a neighbor, family or friend. Very easy to do. Another thing, when the stimulus check started rolling in last spring, bought a freezer. This is one contentious thing that husband did not want in the house. When we first bought our house, like back in 2016, I told him, I said, I really, really want a freezer. Because at the time, Meyer, there were so many deals for frozen food that we could really stock up and get a whole bunch of stuff. But he was always like, nope, nope, nope. After this all happened, we got a freezer right away. And um, but my husband and I, like, he he knows that I love couponing, but he doesn't really get it. He doesn't understand the mechanics of it and why it's important to do. And I think he might have thought that some of this stuff is quite gluttonous or like, why waste your time? Um, but shortly thereafter, when the lockdown happened and we were helping out his specific family members a lot, he said to me, he's like, this is a really important hobby and I can see the value in it. And I'm sorry if I ever gave you trouble in the past. And then this freezer showed up. Um, we ordered it right away and, and then got it. But it was like um, a real moment there too. Like he finally, like a, the light bulb moment happened where he thought that couponing was pretty cool. So guys, um, and maybe in the comments, you could let me know a little story about you in the pandemic. Did you help anybody? Was your stockpile like, you know, did it help you out specifically? And what are your thoughts from last year to this year? As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.